So they all saying, everybody saying self-love is the best love, which is very true. And the reason why I think it's the best love, I've been thinking about this. I really have. I've been spending time with God on this. And the reason why it's the best love is because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, which means that God lives in you. So how can you not love you when God lives in you? When God has formed you, when He you were in your mother's womb, before you were in your mother's womb, he, he made a way out of no way. He brought you through everything. You know, it's been times in your life, I'm sure you can look back and say, oh God, that was you. That was you. And later on, you realize, God, that's why you didn't have me marry that person. That's why you didn't have me take that job. Because you realize later that he protects you. And what comes to my mind is that song by Jason Nelson, Forever. Forever is a long time. And that's how long I'll love you. When you think about that type of love, the love that doesn't matter what your weight is. The love that doesn't matter how much money you make. The love that doesn't matter what you drive. The love that doesn't matter how you look. The love that doesn't matter what you did. No condemnation. When you think about that type of love, you think about Christ. And it's hard not to love yourself. So, my journey with self-love has been with me becoming more intimate with God. And I urge you today, if you're struggling with that, if that's something that you struggle with and you're bogged down with life's challenges that can try to take away what God has put in you and how much and not remind you and make you forget how much God really loves you, I urge you to get into that place today that quiet place with God, because that's where self-love lives. It lives with God within you. I hope you all are blessed. I hope you all are inspired by this message. 